Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto. Today I'm going to show you a cool jig and technique to make six-sided pencils. Check it. My buddy Andrew Klein invented this six-sided pencil making jig after seeing me struggle with making pencils a couple years ago. He's got a video on how he came up with this and all the different ways that he tried to make six-sided pencils and why this version is the best. I'll have a link to that video down in the description as well as how to get your hands on one of these cool jigs. So let's get started making some pencils. For this, you're going to want nice straight grain that's going to be easier to work with down the road. It needs to be cut to 3 8 by half inch by eight inches long. So let's go cut this up. There's a router bit that comes with the kit and we're gonna use that router bit to cut a groove on each side and that's going to hold the pencil lead. Once we get that groove cut in there, we can then split this down the middle and then sandwich the lead in there. So that lead should fit in there like that. And when you put the two pieces together. So the next thing we need to do is cut these in half over at the bandsaw. Andy gave me some regular lead and some colored pencil lead. We can stick that in there and glue the two halves together. You do want there to be a little bit of space on the ends for the clamp inside the jig. I love these Harbor Freight clamps. I'm going to a lot of squeeze out. I'm going to come back and wipe that down before it dries because that'll be hard to plane down later. This is the jig that Andrew invented. It's pretty darn slick. This is just a prototype. So the production model might have a couple different parts on there as we learned what works and what doesn't work. But this fits into your vise like this. And then you can take your pencil blanks and you put them between these two centers here. I got a little bit of glue in the ends here, so I'm just going to drill that out. This end, it has this, this tooth here and that's going to bite into the wood. You just want to make sure it doesn't bite into the seam. So you want to rotate the pencil so it doesn't do that. So we'll go this way and that fits over top of there and then this side clamps down on that and then this has positive stops. So now you take your block plane and it runs along this groove right here, butts up against that wall and then just runs, you run that right over top of that. It does have a little bit of rubber padding on here, so you're not going to hurt your block plane. So once you get a plane, you can then take that, rotate it one, one notch. The plane will bottom out once it gets so far, and that's when you know you're done. I get really close to that point, and then I rotate it. And do the next side. Another notch. So you might notice that while you're running your plane over there, there's a little bit of flex. So it's going to come with this little piece of rubber that you can stick in the bottom here. And that'll help take out that flex and I'll do my final passes on each side. It bottoms out. When you get no more shavings, you're done with that side. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Uh, sixagon? Hexagon. Hexagon. So now we have a perfect hexagon. I just recently learned that the reason pencils are hexagon shaped is school desks used to be slanted and it kept the pencils from rolling off. But that came out really, really good. You do need a really sharp block plane. So if you buy this jig, we are assuming you know how to sharpen your blades. All right, let's go make some more pencils out of some fancier woods.
Before we talk about this pencil making slide, I do wanna say that I am finishing up my third book, which is due later this year, and that'll be put out by Springhouse Press. I'm not ready to talk about that book just yet, but the publisher did send me a handful of books to give away. I will do a random drawing in a couple of weeks. There'll be a link down in the description on how you can get involved in that drawing. Okay, let's talk about this cool jig. The first question everybody is gonna ask is, how long does it take to plane each pencil? And that's about five minutes. A lot less if you're used to the jig, you got a really sharp blade and you're using nice straight grain and wood that's easy to work with. The sharper the blade, the more success you're going to have and the more materials you can use with this jig. For your first few pencils, I suggest that you use straight domestic grain woods until you get a feel for the jig. Once you get more comfortable with the sled, then you can move on to some wild grain, exotic woods, and alternate materials. The rails of this sled is made with wood, so it's not gonna hurt the sole of your block plane. This is Bacote, and he chose that because of its hardness and the oiliness of this wood, which makes it nice and stable and gives it a good slick surface to work on. I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have, but I suggest just that you go check out Andrew's video because he has the making of this, how to use it, and a lot more information on this jig. There'll be a link down in the description to the Indiegogo campaign for this sled. And it has various packages that is gonna come with some end caps, some ferrules with erasers and leads. I currently don't have any of the end caps or erasers with me. If you wanna go check out Andy's videos, you can see them there. That is it folks. Again, links to all the stuff that we talked about down in the description. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.